I basically started off having some achiness in my legs and some little twinges of pain. And on top of that, I noticed that I was getting like small spider veins and like some other varicose veins. And I realized that I had been very self-conscious of myself and didn't really uh, want to be wearing shorts or going out, you know, swimming or anything like that. The uh, side effects of varicose veins are, uh, are actually the symptoms of heavy, tired legs and uh, making the patient unproductive. More severe symptoms would be bleeding from a varicose vein if left untreated or standing and ulceration of the skin close to the ankle. Michelle, after years of having uh, heavy, achy, tired legs at work and sitting and standing, uh, came in for a diagnosis of her vein problems. And she presented with very large veins on the inside of her legs, as well as many small veins and some spider veins. And uh, we did an ultrasound test, showed that she had backflow causing this uh, varicose vein. I spoke to him and he explained everything. He uh, went ahead and told me the procedure I would have to have is called a venous closure. And he explained the procedure, gave me all the steps from beginning to end, and uh, made me feel comfortable so that I could make a decision based on what he gave me, if I wanted to proceed or not to have surgery. After diagnosing her as having back flow, down those veins, we were able to do uh, venous closure. Venous closure is extremely safe. It's almost a lunchtime or surgery. Patients have minimal uh, post-op discomfort. I was very happy with the results of, uh, that Michelle had. Michelle now is, uh, does not have symptoms from her varicose veins following the uh, venous procedure. Postoperatively, I really didn't have any discomfort at all, and now I am just extremely happy that I went ahead and had the procedure.